Hello once again, students. Welcome back to Dragon School, where we teach you about dragons, training, and everything in between. My name is Jessica, dragon expert, world-class dragon groomer. Seriously, dragons can look beautiful too. Anyway, I'm here to teach you how each dragon works so one day you can tame a dragon in the wild too. If it doesn't cut you in half with its razor sharp tail, free tip, learn how to dodge. If you want to be a bona fide dragon rider, don't cut out this course. Believe me, I'll notice. Let's slice into today's lesson, shall we? Look sharp, students, because the Sharp class is a unique group of dragons known for being sharp to the touch and razor smart. They're also known for being difficult to train given their slick and vain nature. But if you appeal to their good side, you might just win one over. The sleekest dragon of the class is the cleverly named Razor Whip. These beautiful beasts are known for their shiny metallic scales that help act as a protective armor and with aerodynamic flying. Their most fascinating feature is their versatile tail, tail slice, that not only cuts through trees like a razor, but can also grapple with anything like a whip. Hence the name Razor Whip. Aren't we dragon riders clever at naming? If you plan on raising one yourself, be sure to take extra care of it as baby razor whips are born blind and cannot defend themselves until they are fully grown. Of course, if you need assistance, be sure to call on the wing maidens who take special care of growing razor whips. I want their outfits. While not exactly as eye-catching as the razor whips, the scavenging speed stingers deserve just as much of your respect. These ravenous dragons roam in packs and fight in great numbers. If you dare, you can try to train a speed stinger, but have patience. Speed stingers aren't easily fooled. One false move and you could lose a limb to their razor sharp tail. Finally, the most deceiving sharp class dragon is the Grim Nasher. These vulture dragons tend to prey on the weak and dying dragons. But don't underestimate them. They can brawl with the best of them when communicating in a pack like the speed stingers. If you can avoid their herds and watch out for their teeth darts, you should be able to slice through their grounds undetected. Maybe. Point is, be sharp around sharp dragons or you'll get caught. Think you're sharp enough to move on? Or did you just miss the point? Let's see if you can make the cut by answering this sharp class question. Can a Viking get some privacy? Which of the following is a notable trait of the razor whip? A. Shiny metallic scales. B. Extremely sharp tail. C. Versatile tail used for grappling. D. All of the above. Time's up! Let's see what the right answer is. The correct answer is... D! All of the above! Did you get it right? Wow, you are a sharp one! Maybe you should be placed in the sharp class. Get it? Eh, of course you do! Great job as usual, riders! You're shining through like a freshly groomed dragon! Though, let's be honest, no rider can be as beautiful as a dragon. Look at how pretty they are. Anyway, come back to Dragon School next time as we near the end of our Dragon Class curriculum. Finish up these last classes and we'll make you the marvelous dragon rider you were born to be.